What's up guys, it's Marty Blunt and today we have a clean mid-drop skin fade to go over, so let's jump right into it. First up, you want a moisten section and clip away the top portion of your client's hair so it doesn't interfere while you're blending. If the canvas is still wet, use a blow dryer to speed up the process, just like you see here. Now with your preferred trimmer, create a baseline eventually dropping it towards the occipital area. In this case, I decided to go with a V shape towards back because I thought it'd complement the client's head shape. Now you want to remove everything left underneath. Remember to lay the blade flat on the scalp or you can cause irritation. With your shaver of choice, remove all the stubble left behind. Next, using your clipper with the lever fully open, create a half inch guideline. Using the one and a half guard open, scoot up a full inch above the step you just worked on. Next, close up the lever fully, no guard, and hit that baseline halfway through the guide. Gradually open up the lever as you move up. You may use your trimmer to erase any line left from that baseline. Alright, next with your half guard fully open, create a half inch guideline. To continue, you want to slap on the number one guard and move up another half inch to break the line within the dark and light area. Clipper over comb if you can see too much bulk within the dark portion of your blend. Finally, with your lever open, no guard, use your corners to remove that last visible line. Remember, you will be having to close and open up that lever depending on the client's hair texture. Also, I want you guys to note that the more corners you use, the longer it will take to complete the haircut, but we do this to get the best outcome possible. For this specific client, I found that his hair type needed so much more detailing, which is why you see me go from playing with the lever and then switching up guard to guard. You want to fit that blade into as many dark spots you feel need touch-up work. Take your time when doing so and be patient throughout the process.
All right, you guys, so the opposite side is the exact same thing. It's just that for demonstration purposes, I do have to focus on one single side. I definitely recommend you to do each step all around the head if you're just starting off. And before we go on with the cut, I just want to say thank you for all the support y'all have been showing the channel. The growth has been exponential and I just want to say I truly appreciate it. If you guys happen to like these guards I use in every video, make sure you visit MartyBlends.com to grab your own set. If you're shopping anything babyless, you can also use my code MARTY10 to save a ton of money on your next purchase. All right, now back to the cut. As for the lineup, I went ahead and resectioned one more time to bring down all the hair possible to create that nice crisp lineup. Personally, I love using the FX3s because they're so sharp and the design of them makes it easier to maneuver. The top portion of our canvas is fairly simple. The client wanted me to reduce finger length all around. If you want to see a full how-to scissor work, I know it's been long overdue, so I will be dropping that soon. Finally, don't forget to style and top it all off with hairspray. Guys, here's our beautiful finished product. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you stay tuned for more. Again, I'm Marty Blends and I'm out. Peace.